We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ms. Magdalena Guy, who is President of the Office of Electronic Communications of Poland. Uh, welcome to the studio today. Good morning, Maximilian. Good morning. Now, I wanted to ask you, uh, Ms. Guy, the theme of ITU Telecom World 2015 is accelerating innovation for social impact. How have you seen innovation uh, in ICTs directly impacting on socio-economic development and people's lives in Poland? You know, the, the ICT is the bloodstream of the current economy. So we can't imagine our everyday life, single citizen and the economy, uh, we can't live uh, without new technologies. So the same about the innovation, yes, because without the innovation, we can't meet uh, new technologies. So it is obvious and it is the priority for the Polish government, for the Polish regulatory authority to support the uh, innovators. It is very important. It is like um, uh, brainstorming. The innovators uh, has a lot of new ideas and it can uh, deliver us as a citizens as, and as a governments uh, a lot of good uh, project which can help our economy, our countries to grow. And it has influence on every single citizen. Uh, for example, the e-health um, application, for example, which can help elderly people. Uh, or uh, even for us, saving money. I am thinking about smart home. Uh, you can decide uh, about the electricity at your home. Even uh, being here in the, in the Budapest, we can control using the electricity in our houses in Poland or in Geneva. So it is a very, very useful, useful po uh, tool. But on the other hand, we have to be very safety and educate our citizens because it is the access also to our data. And uh, our children should know, they, they, work as, uh, they born as um, uh, digital natives. So we, can, we have to focus on them. Not only that, but people can start regulating the electricity and uh, the heating <laughs> in your house if they were able to, to crack into that. Yes. But uh, what concrete measures can government and industry take to encourage entrepreneurship and foster the growth of SMEs in the ICT sector? And what's the government of Poland doing? Yes, it is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it is very important. And um, usually these startups, the SMEs, the innovators, they started from the scratch and they uh, haven't enough money to invest and to build their own company. What, what we done uh, in Poland, we prepared for them uh, a few special zones, uh, the uh, in incubators for innovators when it is the, the open space, uh, when they have everything uh, needed. Uh, equipment, um, space, and they can come there and starting to share the ideas and to work research and uh, deliver uh, their they, they products or just the ideas then to implement it in the in the sector. So it is one what we done in Poland, so special zones uh, needed for them because uh, as, as I said, they, they usually uh, haven't money. And also we have our national center of research and development. And um, this uh, national center has a lot of money uh, and when the innovators, when the SMEs um, prepare good project, and uh, apply for the money, they can also receive the public uh, funds uh, for this innovation. So it is uh, the two biggest uh, program uh, which we have in Poland. But I think that always the cooperation is very, very important. I was going to ask you about cooperation. How important are collaboration and multi-stakeholder partnerships uh, in, important in accelerating ICT innovation? I think that we can um, talk about a few levels of the, of the cooperation. The cooperation should be between the uh, governments and the market, between the market and the universities, and between the big companies and startups. And all these um, levels of the cooperation is needed to receive the success. I think that most important is the cooperation between the universities and the um, market. Uh, because the universities has to understand the needs of the market and make the research for them to implement the ideas then 
to work, yes, not only work and in, at the university for only working and uh, checking something. So I think that cooperation between the market and universities are the most important, but also uh, we have to build the awareness uh, in the big companies that they need to help smaller uh, to uh, get him easier uh, get to the market. Now there are a lot of representatives here from countries all around the world. What's the importance, why is it vital to be here at ITU Telecom World? Because the discussion, because the exchanging of uh, ideas, it builds our potential because uh, on the telecom market uh, is, you know, the, the issues are the same, but somebody met it, somebody is now is in the process, somebody else will be in the next few months. So uh, it is good to learn from uh, other, it is good to learn from other mistakes even, and it is the place when, uh, where we can uh, exchange, uh, have this brainstorming, but also see new ideas because the exhibition is also very important. And the, uh, today's, this year's even uh, more topic, the SMEs and uh, accelerating the innovation is very important nowadays. And finally, what's your main message here for participants in Budapest and also around the globe? I think that uh, choose innovation and choose the uh, smart world. Magdalena Gay, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.